do you know about what Australia's golden ticket, visa is, and why is it being talked about? Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill has indicated she sees little reason in maintaining the significant investor visa stream as part of the country's migration programme, saying it isn't adding value to the country. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. A warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel, a 2Z immigration updates. Ms. O'Neill said on Sunday the $5 million Significant Investor Visa, SIV, scheme was a drain on the federal budget. She said that it's actually costing them on average for every person because these are people who are generally coming in at quite a late stage of their life, often at the end of their business career, and coming to Australia, basically to settle down and retire. The provisional visa allows candidates to stay in Australia for up to five years provided they tip at least $5 million into approved investments and have a genuine intention to hold that investment for the life of the visa. That is split into different categories, including at least $500,000 in venture capital and growth private equity funds that back startups and small private companies, at least $1.5 million in approved managed funds that invest in ASX-listed emerging companies, and a balancing investment of at least $3 million in managed funds. Candidates are eligible to apply for a permanent visa if certain requirements are met. The scheme has advantages for the applicant, such as no upper age limit and people without functional English being able to apply. The Productivity Commission in 2016 called for the scheme, known as the Golden Ticket Visa, to be abolished, arguing it was prone to fraud. Forcing money into high-risk funds will benefit fund managers, but is unlikely to deliver a material amount of additional economic activity in Australia. Ms O'Neill said the number of visas available in the significant investor stream had already been halved, but suggested the government could wind up the program altogether. It is a visa program that she thinks isn't adding value to the country, and it's something that they'll be looking at in the context of the review of the immigration program that have just announced. Former Department of Immigration senior official Abel Rizvi told that he supported abolishing or radically redesigning the SIV. He said it is fundamentally, relatively old people buying retirement in Australia. If you look at the level of taxable income they report, and the taxes they pay, they are minimal, yet they are eligible for the rest of their lives for Medicare and social support. Ms O'Neill also suggested the migration review would lead to a consolidation in the number of visa categories on offer to prospective migrants. They've got 70 visa categories. They've got multiple subcategories all with their own different criteria. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.